Hi, this is Dan Petrock. This is a short video to help those of us at DMAC teaching math and using my math lab how to use Blackboard to link up with that course. So our students only have to authenticate once and then we can link right through Blackboard to the My Math Lab course. So I'm going to show how to do this. And if you click on whatever course you're looking to link up, um, I'm going to just pick this one for the, even though I'm not using My Math Lab, I'm just going to use this summer course just so you can see it's a generic course. Um, whether it's been copied in or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, but we're going to use the Pearson tool. Um, and if I look at mine right now, by default, it's not on. It would be under P and it's not there. So if I want to turn that on, I have to go on the left side here and go to Customization, Tool Availability. So we want to try to turn on the Pearson tool. So if we go down to the P's here, um, we want to click that box right there Pearson My Lab Mastering. We want to get that turned on and we hit submit. So now if I hit my tools here on the left side I will see Pearson My Lab Mastering. So um, what's cool here is if I go back to um, I'll just go ahead and click on it. Click on the Pearson My Lab Mastering and what it's got here is getting started for students, getting started for instructors. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, if you want to use those things, that's great, but I guess that's kind of why I'm making my videos, so you don't have to go through all that. But just hit select a MyLab Mastering product to use with this course. So I'm going to do that. And if I'm already logged in on my browser, and I am, I'm already logged into my Math Lab, it automatically populates with all the courses that could be used. Um, and it looks like I only have one course right now that's up to the new edition. But when I select that, um, it imports it and I can make it active in my course and you just hit go. Um, so this is after you've already created the course for the you know your my math lab and I made a video on that too and then you're gonna come in here and uh, I'll show that again. Um, so again we go to here it just says select the product and if you are logged into my math lab, it'll have all, it should be selected. You click it, hit go. And then when you are in your course content, let's say, and you want to go build content, it will, um, I'm sorry, publish your content. It should be right there, Pearson My Lab Mastering. And what you can do here is um, right now, I didn't obviously do that, but then you would be able to make a link, and then that link becomes live. It would look here. I'm going to go one of my courses where I've done it already. Uh, I'll go into this stat one here. So if I go in here, I'm going to go into course content. And right there, I've already made one. You just go to publisher content, Pearson My Lab Mastering. And there, it automatically just, it just makes a hyperlink. So when you click, when your students click on that link, it takes them right to that course. So um, it's a different window and all that stuff, which is not ideal. Um, some books have deeper integration where you can link directly to certain items on my math lab. We're not quite there yet, but pretty much that's it. So you can just make this, essentially makes it a hyperlink. But the cool thing is once they've, when they start in the course and they click on this in your Blackboard course, it's going to ask them to log into my lab mastering and they can create their account and all those good things like they normally do. They only do this once and from then on they click that link, they're in. And they never have to authenticate again um, for my lab mastering. There's also some deeper integration with Gradebook and other things like that. But for this video, all I want to do is show you how to just get the tool on and how to get the link in there. And this is where you would want to direct your students, like in a start here folder or whatever it is. Um, and then when they click those links, it takes them right out there and, and they don't have to authenticate again. So hope that helps.